Right. It's the 11th of January 2016. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I've just spontaneously decided to do a small video while walking in the wood at Weston. This is a sad day. Today, a legend died. Whether he planned to die on this day, three days after his birthday, who knows. But he died of cancer. Which he's been suffering with badly for 18 months. That's David Bowie. Alias David Jones. Like I said, a legend. We are, we can be heroes just for one day. Ziggy Stardust. <sighs> Major Tom. Loads and loads of songs. Now I've come up in the wood, I'm going to do some photos down by the seafront at sunset time. But it's very still in the wood today. After all the wind and rain, even up to early this morning, somebody just coming. <sighs> Doesn't take long for people to appear either. It's quite muddy as you can see. I was up here last week. <sighs> but I just thought I'd do a little video. Just cross over this way. <sighs> Don't really like doing videos and there's people about. You can't really do them properly, that's why. <sighs> anyway, it's a very calm day. Nice blue sky. It's like spring, to be quite honest. We've had a few slightly cold hours but basically I'm just wandering off track for a minute on purpose They're getting the snow up north after after the flooding. Um, that's trying to be a bit quicker. Get round the corner by this bush. Yeah, I've done a few photos and put them on a video for YouTube and um, Facebook and Blogger. Obviously they're not my own photos, I've pinched them off the internet. He's well in, he will live on in cyberspace forever. I haven't done this track I'm doing now for a while actually. It's um, off the beaten track. It's getting more well known now though than it used to. I've brought my boots on. 
But this is a David Bowie walk. I like David Bowie. Well, since I first heard about him in the early 70s, I liked a lot of the music. No one was really stuck on one person. You know, I mean, there was John Lennon, the Stones, the Beatles, Elvis, you know, so many people around at the time. There was a lot to occupy your mind and develop your music tastes. I was heavily into folk in the early 70s, but David Bowie did play acoustic. Um, he did play acoustic. Yeah, I feel very sad. My heart weeps. I said he'll live on in cyberspace forever, as long as cyberspace exists. But he's taken the big spaceship. I mean, you get all sorts of conspiracy ideas like, has his ashes been taken up in the latest spaceship that, that went, that was launched recently to join the International Space Station? Have they got him up there? Now, these are all the sort of things that'll start coming out after today, really. You'll get all those theories emerging. And of course, they've got the money to die in comfort when they're rich. Um, die in comfort and probably kill themselves if they want to. You know, just turn on the morphine pump. The diamorphine, I should say. It's weird how people that take a lot of drugs when they're young for joy and ecstasy and creativity of it all don't realise a lot of people go out on them when they go into the next world when they're crossing the border they go out on it um, alright now down there is a main track that I went down the other day um when I went to the seafront but it is a lovely wood this I'll probably come out jumpy as usual but it does feel like spring it's almost a very calm couple of hours at the moment when we've had such grey and dull weather but though it's a dismal day for passing of Bowie. Um, it's not a grey day. It's not really dismal in that way. And he's died quite young for this. I mean he's had six heart attacks, known ones, um, from his lifestyle. Um, smoking, drinking, up all hours, you know, the jet set life. Um, but he was creative to the last minute and he's got um, dark, is it Dark Cross or Dark Star or something? There's a, he's, he's just published and released a new album that he created almost on his deathbed. He released it on his birthday. And he looks awful in it, I must admit. It's about his death. Even the fact that he got to the age of 69 for him is symbolic in everything he's done crossing boundaries but it's come out the, the light is here to take him away he's in New York 
I spent, I think he was back in London about a month ago. So I spent he come to do his farewells. You know, he was born in London, Brixham. I expect he's gone there. He went there, I should say, to say farewell. Then all his family are in New York. So he's gone there to be with them. They had Christmas together. Of course, we don't know the details of his nursing care and how bad he was, and how, how quickly he went. But um, I've got to record this for now. I've I've done the the photo album. I've got some photos I did take myself when I visited London, the Vic Victorian Albert Museum when he had an exhibition there in 19, 2013. I've actually got lots of my own images and videos that I've done of that. Which I would dig up, of course. Some stuff you couldn't put on um, YouTube, for example, because they wouldn't allow it. You know, because you get done for playing someone's music, see? If you haven't been given permission. I think he would have given permission. Um, oh, there's somebody coming. Is that dog again? Oh no, I've got someone. On. I'll carry on in a minute. Just pass somebody. Right, I'm just sending this back to the computer. Hold on. I think you're still going. Sorry, there's a bloke with a dog. I didn't want to be talking when someone's talking on their mobile. He was behind me earlier, I think so, though I thought that dog was black and white. Yeah, so we're still going. Because the thing is, with David Bowie, Obviously, he hasn't been well over a couple of years, so he hasn't been public eye much. And apparently, he isn't really a recluse. Um, he just didn't want to be in the public eye all the time. But we haven't really seen a lot of him. Um, he hasn't done that much work that we know of. Uh, there is some stuff. Obviously, this new one he's done. But, um... So, with that, with the fact that we haven't had him around dancing and singing to us a lot, you know, on any events, it feels like, in a way, it has eased the pain because we've been used to him not being around. I think that's what happened with me when my mum died. I'd already spent a year nearly, or six months without her. Of course, I, when I was older, I, I got I was more upset than when it happened. It always brings back memories when some, there's a death, doesn't it? It brings back all the memories of your own personal experiences. I've seen that bloke before. Right, now we're going up some steps here, up to the, this is the Iron Age Fort, by the way, in Wilbury Woods. Right, rest in peace, David Bowie. I've loved your music. Um, I've enjoyed everything you've done. 
You are a gift to the world. <sighs> Don't forget to come into port when it's my turn to go and I'll happily get on your boat. Over now.